Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. This is the final Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G in this specific room, as Mr. G will be moving once again. But it is Monday, May 17th, the seventh and final Monday of Easter, uh, and it's also the feast day of St. Pasco, um, St. Pasco, St. Pasco Bailon, and he was a 16th century Franciscan friar from Spain, and he is a pat the patron saint of anything associated with the Eucharist, as well as shepherds, male children, and priesthood vocations. Today's gospel is from John chapter 16, verses 29 through 33. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit, Amen. His disciples said, now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. What a beautiful passage um, from John's Gospel here as we conclude chapter 16. Um, a religious Jesus confirming uh, to the disciples and making sure that he's leading them without a doubt, as I think I mentioned not too long ago, um, that Jesus wants to make sure that he is clear and he has given them all the tools necessary to lead them um, so that he can ascend into heaven and he'll physically be gone. But his spirit, that's why the Holy Spirit is sent down to guide them and help them, which is the most difficult part of the tritium to, to kind of understand. Um, but uh, it's just something that you know I continuously take to prayer and, and know and recognize that it does take time um, and always will. Um, that's where faith comes in. You know, he, he's making sure that he, you know, he tells them that all of them will be scattered and then they will leave him alone. Um, they will rely on the Holy Spirit and they will go build the church. Um, and you know, it reminds me of the homily yesterday uh, for one of the, the priests that was newly ordained. And one of the, and the other priest, the co-celebrant, gave a homily saying, it's almost as if, you know, you know, now it's finished as far as the journey of your priestly studies, and now you're a priest, and you're like, oh crap, now what do I do? And it's the same feeling that the, that the, that the disciples had once Jesus left. You just got to trust the Holy Spirit and just go to work, and now we've got the church of what it is. Um, and Jesus gives us, even amongst the challenges, he gives us peace and, and solace and comfort um, of, of why he just did what he did why he just suffered and died on the cross and they were with them, which they were blessed with in order to be there physically. Um, and then he also just, he just encourages them um, that even amongst the trouble, um, just, and this, this is speaking to us too, like because, because the gospels are for us. Um, and he's just telling them to have peace and courage, even amongst the daily troubles and amongst the struggles. And all those guys, all those apostles end up being martyred. Um, but, you know, so whatever it is that you're fighting through, whatever I'm fighting through, it's the Lord's battle. It's not yours. It's not mine. It's not even other people's. It's, it's the Lord's battle. That's why he came. Um, and he's challenging us to grow in our faith. So, you know, as we go out through the, the beginning of this week, um, you know, Jesus wants to, you know, like his disciples, he wants to make himself clear to you. Um, but, but we must sit with him silently in prayer and pay attention to the world around us um, because he does speak to us through through events, through other people. Uh, it's just a matter of whether or not we pay attention. So how much do you, time do you spend in prayer every day? Um, I know I need to do better recently. Um, and then and how well do you pay attention to Christ's presence throughout our day um, through those events and those encounters that we have with other people and the, the people and things that the Lord places around us each and every day? He's talking to us. It's just a matter of we got to be able to recognize it. So enjoy the challenge. It's a daily challenge. So keep it real. God bless. 
and a, and a father, son, and spirit. Amen.